I'm going to test my metal detector out, make sure it works. It's just a little, little test I know that works. Yep, she works all right. Brilliant. So this was sent to me, sent to me by a viewer. Thank you, guy, for this. Of course, it picks up, picks up the. Uh, I better set it on the floor. Picks up the rollers about four or five inches away, so it ought to, ought to do all right with this. You guys saw me before, and I um, ran a nail through my planer. It was just no good. Yeah, that one's clear. So we're working on a lathe bench and workstation. It's not anything going to be anything fancy. I just had some scrap plywood kicking around. So I kind of wanted to just uh, get it off of this bench and just put it on there temporarily to see how it works. So that's what we're up to. I found a nifty way to hide the, uh, all the scrap insulation I have kicking around. That's behind the plywood. Not that that'll do a lot to insulate, but why throw it out if I could throw it in there?
Now that's one thing halfway done. Hey, look at that, already throwing stuff on it. It's my problem, anytime I get a horizontal surface, it fills up, whether it's the floor, whether it's a bench, whether it's a shelf. Doesn't seem to matter. No wonder I shake like a leaf all the time. Too much caffeine. Alright, so if you didn't guess watching the video, we just did a quick and dirty lathe bench. Now we're going to make this into a uh, our lathe workstation for all the tool handles, things like that. Chisels and draw knives and lathe tools. Yes, I did have a question if we are going to be making lathe tools also. Absolutely. To be honest with you, it's a lot easier to make the lathe tools than it is the draw knives, believe it or not. But um, what we have left to do here, I want to get some tool some tool holders up on the wall. We'll make some of those throughout the week. We'll film it, of course. Have to get some better lighting over here, over top of this bench. For one, uh, you guys wouldn't believe the color grading I have to do in these videos when we're in the wood shop because everything comes across on this camera is very orange. So the colors ever look a little wonky, that's because I'm doing it by eye, so that's her. But anyway, so the top is a slab of elm. The legs and the, uh, the rails, those are hemlock. That was out of that building. I don't know if you guys remember that we hauled home here quite a while ago. Um, I just took one of the floor, the floor joists out of there. We checked it with the metal detector before we sent it through anything. So that worked out. So anyway, that's her. This will be kind of a nice out of the way corner. Underneath we're going to build some uh, storage space for all of our blanks. So this is a hunk of black walnut. I have an entire log outside that kind of split itself into quarters. I think it's about uh, probably about a 20 inch log, 22 inch, somewhere in there. We're going to take that entire log and we're going to turn it into uh, tool handle blanks. Now I, I won't put black walnut on socketed chisels or anything that's going to be pounded on because black walnut is not good for that kind of thing. But it's nice for lathe handles, it's really nice for draw knife handles, it looks good. Finish is easy, it's super easy to work. Uh, black walnut is one of the easiest, nicest woods to work out there. I mean, you can shape it real easy, it works clean, it doesn't tear out. It's good stuff. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope everybody is well tonight. And hope everybody got enough toilet paper to get them through the next six years. I know as full of shit as I am, I, I guess maybe I better probably better stock up, so... Anyway, have a good night everybody and I'll catch you on the next one.